initially there's a, a basic concern as a teacher, as far as I can see it, is that people spend an awful lot of time. I've been forewarned to look out for narcotics, but no one's ever asked me to, to look out for the impact of computer games. So it takes a lot of time, students are exhausted, and that does impact on the classroom. The second concern, that maybe it does affect the way they just learn generally, that they are looking for an immediacy of response which they have had cultivated from playing these games repeatedly. And there is some work done by Dr. Susan Greenfield in, in Neuroscientist in Oxford, which says that it does affect attention spans. Now she does cite the, the use of Ritalin and the way it's being prescribed left, right and centre nowadays as evidence of this. Now that maybe we over-prescribe Ritalin, maybe there's no correlation to Ritalin and the use of computer games. There, there is the concern that pupils who have been brought up on a diet of the immediacy and the very strong um, visual sensory stimuli of computer games will have different attention spans than the way my generation, who are not accustomed to these games, would have had. So I feel sorry for the poor traditional teacher with you know, the, the patches on his arms and the tweed jacket and a bit of chalk, who's trying to teach them in a, in a traditional manner and find that his audience really are expecting something much more immediate, something that they can control. And what these games allow people to do, as soon as they are bored, they can quickly you know, change the frame onto something that bores them less or offers the possibility of boring them less. And that, that is a problem I think traditional teaching is now going to face in the classroom.